Hi everyone, uh, I hope everyone's doing good. Today we'll put these black JDM badges on the hatchback. I got these on eBay for $45. They took around like two and a half weeks to ship. These ones are pretty cheap and honestly like the quality is pretty good. There's only, there's no imperfections really except one on this one. Um, the bottom piece of it right here you can kind of see. It's just messed up. I'll put up some pictures too that way you guys can see, but it's, it'll be fine because it, it's not even going to show. It's going to be on the bottom. So I'll show you guys how to take off the emblems that already come with the car. Um, I'll show you guys how to do that and also how to add these on, which is pretty easy. So for me, I'm going to be taking off the letters for the Civic and the Sport also. Um, for these, all you really need is like, I would recommend you getting some tape, something to just put it over the the paint of the car so you're not scratching the paint or chipping it while you're taking off the emblems um, for the letters if you want to take them off you're gonna need some floss so I have some floss right here and also to get the the logos you're gonna need like an old card an old card or something to pry the the logos off or to get under you guys will see later but yeah these are really all I have to take off these logos okay so since these are pretty cheap i want to see how well they hold up with the heat where i'm from um i want to see you know like how good they hold up with you know like the adhesive and everything i'll just be using the adhesive that i come in it looks like it does come in um with 3m tape so we'll see how well they do um Right now, we'll put up my car on the driveway. I have a muffler and resonator to delete on the car. I also have a PRL Cobra intake on the car. You guys will get to hear. I'll give you guys a, a cold start, and then we'll put these on. be taking off these these letters right here so the sport and the civic so this is where you're gonna need your floss uh, I already did it to the T just to test it out but pretty much what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your floss and you're gonna slide it under the letters and once it's there you're just gonna work your way through and then it's just gonna fall off like that to do it to the other ones and it comes off pretty easy too so it's not too bad Go to the opposite side and do the same exact thing. Grab your floss, you just get under the letters and just work your way through it and it just pops off. So once you get them out, they're gonna look like this. Uh, you guys can use whatever cleaner you want, but whatever I find, I'll put or I'll spray on it, let it sit, that way the adhesive comes off and then you kind of just scrub them off. Um, I'll put I'll put something up that stuff that you can use too. Okay, so I just sprayed some water on the adhesive, so we'll let that sit. And while we're waiting, um, I'll show you guys how to take off the actual Honda badges. So this is where the tape comes in. If you guys can see, I put them to where the tape is protecting the the paint around the logo. So when we try to get under the logo, we're not gonna be chipping or or. Um, scratching the paint okay so for this one it's a little bit harder um you're gonna have to find a side or just work on a side where you can lift up on on it that way you can slide a card under like here i'll show you like that or you can do like a you can where you can slide a floss under so you can just break all of the adhesive <laughs> Once 
closer behind the logo, push up as you're working your way around it so you're not scratching up your paint. So now for the front, it's literally the same exact thing. So um, you just need to get behind the logo. Um, the front seems to be a lot looser than the ones in the back. So this one, I might not even have to put some tape down. I'll be able to get behind it with my card and um, I'll just work my way around it again. It's not tight at all, so I was able to get my card under it right away. So you're just, I don't think there's even any adhesive. It might just be a clip, but you're just the same thing. You're just gonna want to work your way, uh, work your way around it again. So for this one, I got a floss behind it already. So I'm just working my way around it so the adhesive breaks, but it looks like this just has the prongs. So you're just gonna have to pull it out. don't really want to break this but you might have to so this kind of sucks because I was hoping that this doesn't break but mine broke um, but it'll be okay because I really won't even use this anymore but yeah so just be careful when um, you're trying to take this off okay so I had to step out and stop doing this for a sec but I finally got the adhesive off so I had actually ended up having goo gone so I just put some of that on I let it sit and then Pretty much like it just scrubs off once you're, once um, the chemical dries up. So you just want to make sure this is clean and um, dry. Okay, so before you put this on, once you peel it, I suggest heating up the adhesive so it actually sticks on this pretty well. Um, I don't have a, I don't have a heat gun, so I'm using, I'm using a blow dryer. <laughs> Okay, so same thing with the front just make sure that the surface is clean um, same thing so we'll pull the, we'll peel this off and then we'll heat it up again and it should just be perfect in there all right so now we're inside the car um, this is the last piece we have so just make sure that this is clean you don't need to take this off um, this thing just goes over it so uh, make sure it's clean. Uh, we'll peel off the back of this adhesive right now. We'll heat it up and then we'll put it on. Alright, so these are what the emblem looks like on the car. I really like how the back looks without the Civic and the Sport. It just looks a lot more sleek. And honestly, this is already like almost a week later. And I really like how the emblems are holding up. The adhesive that it comes with is really good. So I don't have any complaints about them at all. This is what the front looks like. So the steering wheel looks pretty good too. It's solid. I really like how it looks. Um, and it makes this like really funny effect for my face too. I don't know if you guys can see it. So every, now, every time I record a video or take a picture, you can kind of just see my face and it looks like... It has a filter but yeah i really like these emblems so this is honestly like my first video i have a bunch of stuff coming up for the car i'm on stock suspension right now i have some lowering springs coming in uh, i'll try to make a video for it too because i'm trying to post a little bit more consistent but i have some springs coming in for the car i also have a blow-off valve coming in for the car i'm also going to try to have some wheels in pretty soon but um yeah i'll try to make a video on like the blow-off valve and the uh, lowering springs Everything that you guys see on the car, I'll try to link in the description. That way you guys can get them too if you want. So I'm going to show you guys what the PRL Cobra intake looks like. So this is what the intake looks like. It's a PRL Cobra cold air intake. And yeah, it's, it's honestly, it's super nice. It goes in all the way down. It's kind of like behind the, the fog lights, but I really like it. I'll show you guys some clips for it before I leave out of here. And uh, before I end the video, try to get some pulls for you guys. But yeah, this is what the intake looks like. Thank <laughs> you.